Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Masika Iforo. Today I am here to do a very quick review on my favorite matte foundations. So if you'd like to see what I got, please keep on watching. I'm not gonna go in no particular order because all of these matte foundations are my absolute favorites. They last all day, none of them fall apart. So I'm not gonna go in any particular order. Like I said, they're all my favorites. Up first I have from It Cosmetics. This is the Oil Free Matte CC Cream. This is one of my personal favorites for many years. I've used this one if you love the it cosmetic CC cream and you're an oily skin girl like I am I feel like the matte version is the best version for us oily skin girls it doesn't dry out your skin so I feel like this is also perfect for combination and dry skin girls and this one does give a medium coverage so that's why I have to start off with this one as it is one of my absolute favorite matte foundations and next I have from Burberry and this is the Burberry matte glow foundation and I am in the shade N90 with this one and this is a really really magnificent foundation this is really great for if you want to achieve a matte flawless finish it is super long wearing this and I am able to achieve a medium to full coverage when reaching for this Burberry matte glow foundation I wore this one for up to 14 hours and it did not fall apart there was no separation it doesn't oxidize or any Thing like that none of these foundations that I'm showing you today oxidize for a matter of fact as I don't like foundations that oxidize I love foundations that super long wearing and true to the color and up next I have a new foundation from Givenchy and this is the Prisme Le Bray skin care and matte foundation and I am in the shade W370 with this Givenchy I recently did a full review on my channel for this one. I've reviewed most of these foundations that I'm sharing with you today and I'm going to link them in the description box with the full review and the link if you are interested in purchasing them. But this one is really, really lightweight. It does give a full matte finish and it does give you a medium to full coverage. I feel like this one is really, really easy to work with. This is perfect for all time of year as this one is very, very lightweight and easy to wear. It's loaded with skincare benefits as well and that's why I had to put this one in here as one of my absolute favorite matte foundations that I've ever tried. Up next I have from Dior and this is the Forever Matte Foundation. And I am in the shade 4W with this one. And with this Dior, you do get a full matte finish with this one. It is very, very comfortable on the skin. It doesn't dry out my skin or anything, but it does give like a really, really seamless finish. This is blurring to the pores. It's super long wearing. This one doesn't separate by the nose or anything even after wearing for a very long time so i had to put this dior forever matte foundation in here as one of my absolute favorite foundations up next i have from nars and this is the soft matte complete foundation and this is one of my absolute favorite foundations i personally had to hide this one away from me last year i wore this one so much guys during the winter during the summer i feel like this is perfect for all time of year this does give a really really pretty finish it isn't super dry and matte but it's a really soft matte finish so this one is super long wearing it's really really lovely for us oily skin girls is perfect for all skin types and that's why I have to put this one in here as one of my absolute favorite matte foundations you do get a medium to full coverage when using this one up next I have from Smashbox and this is the weightless feel plus oil and shine control foundation and I really love this one I reviewed this on my channel maybe about two years ago when it was first released and fell in love with it as it is a super full coverage foundation I really really love using this one all time of year this one you just need a very little bit of foundation and a little goes a very long way when using this one and that's why I had to put this one in here as one of my absolute 
favorite matte foundations of all time. Next I have from Estee Lauder and this is one of my absolute favorite foundations for such a long time. I am in the shade 4W2 with this one. This is such a lovely OG full coverage matte foundation. I feel like we can't speak about matte foundations without mentioning the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation as this one is, like I said, an OG. It's super long wearing. It's very, very lightweight, easy to blend out. This is such a magnificent matte foundation. And I, like I said, I couldn't have a matte foundation video, a full coverage foundation video. I feel like this one falls in so many different categories, but this is an amazing, amazing option. Next I have from Giorgio Armani, and this is the recreated Power Fabric Weightless Matte Foundation. And this one has SPF 25, and I'm in the shade number eight with this one. This is such a beautiful, long-wearing matte foundation. I feel like it's very, very comfortable. The recreated version is now loaded with more skincare benefits. And I feel like the new version is also like a lighter weight version than the original formula. But this one is such a beautiful matte finish. I feel like this one is perfect for special occasions as it is kind of pricey, but I feel like this is absolutely worth the purchase. It is a magnificent, magnificent full coverage matte foundation. I mean, did I mention one today that's also your favorite? Please share with me below in the comment section. I would like to know what's your favorite matte foundation. If Even if I didn't mention it today, please share it with me so I can check it out myself. But if you're new here today, be sure to click my picture and subscribe to my channel as I do look forward to bringing you more videos like these. Thank you so much for watching.